Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubo Rama, and in today's video, I will be showcasing how to cut down your crate sourcing time in half for Grand Theft Auto on a line, and this should help a lot of you out. Now, this is actually a glitch that has been around for about four months at this point, and I usually wait to see if these glitches get patched or not mainly down to the fact that I hate when I post a video, and then the moment I release it, Rockstar says, oh, we're patching that. So, to what I'm aware, this glitch is not patched, and we're going to be showcasing with live gameplay how it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to your phone like I'm going to do right now. We're going to scroll until we find Lester. Once we find Lester, we are going to simply request work. So we're going to wait for him to pick up here. You're going to see request job. So that's it. Once we have called Lester and requested a job, we can go over to our office computer and request some special cargo sourcing. Now this glitch only works if you get three crates. If you get the singular crate vehicle, you're going to be about as fast as you possibly can. But we're going to do a source here and hopefully we get a three crate. If we don't, then uh, you're going to have to give me a couple attempts. Here we go, finally getting a mission which involves us having singular crates. So all we need to do is, first of all, obviously take out these helicopters in front of us, which is very, very easy to do. No issues whatsoever. Then, this part is going to be a little bit needing to pay attention. It's pretty easy, though. First things first, we are going to land our Oppressor Mark II where these crates come down. I think the crate's still in the sky. Yeah, we can actually see them falling down. So we're just going to wait a teeny bit for this crate to land, and boom, we're going to pick it up. Then, we are going to make our way over to the other crate. And I'm trying to find where it landed. There we go, right on the roof of the building. What we're going to do is we're going to hop off our presser, we're going to go over to our jobs, and we're going to walk inside of the crate. Then inside of the crate, we're going to accept the job Simeon has sent me, and now we are going to leave this job. Ideally, both crates should be placed near each other. Uh, I don't know, oh, my presser's on top of the building, but either way, we can see that both crates are no longer in my inventory, which is quite nice. So, I'm going to request my oppressor once again down at the road. Uh, I guess I can't request it because it's nearby, so I'm going to go a little bit away and get it out. Alright, and what we're going to do is head over towards the singular crate right here. Grabbing this crate, we are going to fly over to our special cargo warehouse. This is very easy and shouldn't really take all too much effort, obviously. And then you are going to have to pay attention to this last part as well, because we're going to have to go back onto our phone and quickly at the same time while driving into the destination to drop off the goods, also start up a job. It's pretty honestly easy to do, and it sounds a little challenging, but as long as you figure it out, it's really not that hard. Only took me about two attempts, and then I was like, oh, yeah, this is pretty dang easy. So we are currently flying over our counterfeit goods to the warehouse, and as you can see in the bottom corner, we only have one crate currently in our inventory. So we're just going to fly over there. Now, one thing I would suggest to do is set a waypoint, or not even a waypoint, but a point of interest on the map where you're going to be going, because it will remove the checkpoint that you're flying to. So once we get here, all we're going to do is we're going to go into our phone and at the same time, you're going to start up the job. So as you can see, it dropped the crate off and we've started up the job. So now we're going to leave the job. And if everything has worked correctly, as we can see, this crate is in front of us and there's nothing pinged on the map anymore. That is why we have our point of interest listed there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get into our oppressor, and it's not going to work. And this is really good. All you need to do if it doesn't work is manage vehicles, and you need to despawn the current vehicle you have, and then you can request it once again. This is really easy, very simple. As long as your vehicle's not working, the glitch has worked. So now, we are going to go over to our oppressor Mark II, which we can see right here, and fly back to that point of interest. This is all pretty simple stuff. Like, yeah, it sounds a little challenging when you're watching a video and, you know, getting your, everything figured out, but I can tell you for a fact that once you get this method down and you get it locked into your muscle memory, it is going to save you so much time sourcing crates. Because of, instead of individually going back and forth and bringing each crate there, all you need to do is two back and forths instead of three. 
it's going to save you a lot of time overall. So we just need to fly over to our point of interest, which is pretty easy. We can just set a waypoint over there. And once we make it to the point of interest, all we're going to do is grab the two crates. And here's the craziest part. It is going to automatically teleport us back to the warehouse once we pick up these two crates. Yeah, you heard that right. So that's all we got to do is grab these two crates. So they should be right where we left them. Let's take a look. I don't see them. There's one. So let's grab this crate. Boom. And there you go. It has teleported me all the way back over to the warehouse. I mean, that is so easy to do. Then we just need to go outside of our warehouse, grab the second crate, and boom. There you go. We have now delivered two of the crates. Now, I actually kind of messed this up. Ideally, you want to have the crates next to each other. And the reason why is because of the fact we're going to have to go grab that last one and bring it back. But the reason you want to have them next to each other is when you grab them and it's going to instantly send both of them back into your warehouse. The only reason it kind of bugged out is because we had the crate on the roof of the building instead of being right next to each other. So I'm going to go do it one more time and it should solve the problem. All right, here we are, take number two. We're gonna grab this crate right here, run over towards the other side of the plane, and we are going to get on the phone. Then we are going to accept Bavel's mission, and as we can see, this time, both of the crates spawned right next to each other. Now all we have to do is hopefully leave this job, although I probably shouldn't have joined one that was a public lobby. That was a pretty poor decision on my part, but... If everything's done correctly, it should still spawn us. Yeah, it did spawn us right over here. So as we can see, both of those crates this time are next to each other. And this is what you want them to look like, not on the roof of the building. Then we are going to fly to the singular crate in the back. And once again, we are going to head over to our warehouse and do the same method as before. So once again, we are outside of our warehouse. All we're going to do is we're going to pull up his job and we are going to accept it as the same time we enter into the drop off. Then we are going to leave the job. If everything was done correctly, there you go. The crate is no longer going to be an issue. And if we try to hop on our presser, it will not work as we can see. So once again, we have to go to manage vehicles and return our personal vehicle to storage. And then we can request it once again. Now I made a bit of an oopsie and I don't remember exactly where the mission was, but if I'm not mistaken, it was somewhere right over here. So we should be fine. I'm going to go fly back. And there is the plane. So the reason we messed it up last time is because you want to fly into both crates. So essentially all we need to do is fly into both crates like that. This time, as we can see, it is once again teleporting us right over towards the warehouse. But obviously, because we collected both crates, as we can see in the bottom corner of my screen, we have both narcotics already delivered. And because the last one is right outside of our warehouse, as you just saw, we just need to run right over here, grab that last narcotic, and boom, we have completed the mission. You can see just how much faster this is to do than obviously going back and forth every single time to complete the crate source. So I would highly recommend that any of you, especially this week with double money, who are planning to take advantage of special cargo, do so with this method. It is way faster and it is going to make crate sourcing literally multiple times better, which actually increases how much money you can obviously make hourly. As always, if you enjoy tips and tricks like this, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button down below because you're only going to find it here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.